Did you ever wonder why Ron was so much better at playing Quidditch after Harry faked putting liquid luck in his drink? Have you ever wondered why expensive aspirins are so much better than their cheap counterparts? And did you ever wonder why your mom's kiss on your boo-boo relieved so much of your pain? Let me introduce you to Dr. Willem's Wonder Medicine that will cure all your minor inconveniences. From blisters to fevers to unexpected pregnancies, Dr. Willem's Wonder Medicine can fix it all. Find it now for just one dollar at your local general store. Cat. Welcome to Braids Applied. Until the early 1900s, grinded Egyptian mummy powder was used as a cure against migraine and epilepsy and rashes and all kinds of different issues. A fairly recent paper even investigated the usage of surgery against chronic abdominal pain. One randomly assigned group of patients was given the real procedure, where scar tissue remnants were removed from the abdomen. This procedure had been executed thousands and thousands of times before. And the other group was given a fake procedure. They just were given an incision in the skin. Can you guess what the outcome of the investigation was? I'll give you five seconds to think about it. Both groups reported a similar amount of pain relief. And in the same way, fake antidepressants can get up to 75% of the effects of real antidepressants, depending on how depressed the person is. And there are millions and billions of studies that show a similar effect. And this effect is called the placebo effect. Placebo can be translated from the Latin phrase I will please and this is exactly what a placebo does. It pleases you but it does nothing else. And a placebo can be a certain procedure like surgery or a caregiver or some kind of drugs. A placebo can be anything. This effect can be found in subjective measures. For example if you just ask someone how much pain he or she has, but it can also be found in objective measures. For example, if you measure someone's blood pressure. The first reason of why the placebo effect exists is because of our belief. Our belief in the drug or the procedure or the caregiver. Because we believe that we will feel better, we will automatically start to feel a bit better. The second reason is classical conditioning. If you don't know what classical conditioning is, think about Ivan Pavlov and his dogs. Every time Ivan Pavlov went to feed his dogs, he rang a little bell. And after a few weeks, he noticed that whenever he rang the bell, his dogs automatically began to drool and to salivate, even though they weren't given any food. And this happened because their brain started to relate the sound of the ringing bell to receiving food. And in the same way, our past experiences have conditioned us to think that whenever we take a medicine, we will start to feel better. And therefore we will subconsciously behave like we are becoming better. But please do note that the placebo effect doesn't just exist for a treatment and no treatment condition. Fake expensive drugs also appear to be working better than cheap fake drugs. And when you buy an expensive drug on a discount, it appears to be working less good than the same fake drug without a discount. The placebo effect is a very funny little subconscious phenomenon that me and you and everyone else on this planet suffers from. But it does raise some pretty difficult ethical questions. For example, should pharmaceutical companies be allowed to maintain high prices on their better medicines, even though they probably work as well as the cheap ones? Or should 
pharmaceutical companies raise their prices because, you know, more expensive medicines do appear to be working better. And should doctors be allowed to prescribe placebo drugs to their patients because it makes them feel better? And what about alternative medicine? Because the placebo effect is most likely one of the reasons of why alternative medicines do work. And this is fairly innocent in most cases. For example, when you have a fever and you take some alternative medicine just to make yourself feel better. But the same person might also start to believe that some essential oil can protect himself or herself of, or even their children against diseases like polio or measles or anything else that can kill you. So yes, the placebo effect can in fact be pretty dangerous and it's a subconscious process. We can't really do something about it. So all we can do about it is just being aware of the fact that we might suffer from it. And it doesn't just exist in the healthcare and in the medical context, but it does exist in every aspect of our life. And that is all I wanted to tell you today. And today I want to say thank you to one of my subscribers, Flaming Basketball Club, because this guy has been really supportive of whatever I do during the past weeks and months of my mere existence. And I really do appreciate the support. And if you like this video, press the like button and hit that subscribe button and the notification bell so you receive a 100% free notification next time when I upload a new video. And I will see you guys later.